Okay, so then before my first meal, the next supplement I would take, of course, is my Apetamin. I've actually been taking the tabs as of late, although I do prefer the syrup. This is what the syrup looks like. Like I said, I prefer the syrup. I feel like liquids just get into your system quicker. I felt like it made me feel a little bit more hungrier, maybe because I felt the effects faster. And it actually has really good flavor too, so I do prefer the syrup, but it's just not very convenient. So um, I've been doing the tabs. I've actually um, been slacking this whole last week because I've been sick since last Friday and I was like sick for like a whole week. And so since I knew I wasn't gonna be on point, I also had um, family over from out of town for a while. So you know, I just knew I was gonna be all off and I wasn't trying to have a big appetite and be eating bad food. So like I knew I was gonna be off my diet and everything and working out, so I wasn't trying to get sloppy fat, gain sloppy weight. So I decided to just wait till I get back on track. So yes, I'll be taking that again. Um, also with my first meal, I take my CLA. This helps to reduce fat without reducing muscle. This helps with endurance, muscle building, and recovery. So I take one to two of these with each meal. Well, not each meal, but with three meals. So three times a day. It says consume one to two soft gels with morning, noon, and evening meals. So yeah, that's what I try to do. I take one to two with meal one, three, and five. I do six meals a day when I'm trying to maintain or even gain weight okay and then also with my first meal i take my one daily it's just a multivitamin um i'm not particularly picky this one just happens to be equate from walmart has your vitamins a through k niacin biotin vitamin iron etc so you just kind of have your multivitamin here i take that with my first meal of the day this supplement i actually haven't taken in a long time i've kind of forgotten about it but i'm going to get back on it is fish oil this particular brand is Nature Made. Like I said, I'm not really picky on brands. I'll take anything. This suggested use is to take two daily with a meal. So I'll be getting back on this. As it says on the bottle, it helps support a healthy heart. Okay, this supplement here is a new one that I've added to my list of supplements to take. Um, I actually was taking glucosamine more consistently in the past when I was having more issues because I was lifting so heavy. Um, now that I don't have a spotter, I feel like I don't lift as heavy, heavy, so I haven't really had that problem. But it's good just to take, just in general anyways. This is good for your joint health, uh, helps strengthen your joints, supports joint comfort so you can enjoy a range of motion. I'll just read off the bottle here just so you can get a little bit further information. City helps strengthen your joints and helps maintain flexibility and agility so you're always ready for action. <laughs> this is not a sponsored video, but just wanted to recommend glucosamine to anyone that's having joint issues, especially for those who are lifting heavy. This is definitely like a lifesaver. So you can continue working on getting them gains. Okay, so the next supplement on my list, especially for bulking, is creatine. Now creatine helps to improve muscle performance during high intensity exercise and training such as weight lifting, running, and other intense activity. So I honestly haven't been taking this. Like I said, I've been a little bit off, so I kind of forgot of I kind of forgot of all the supplements that I'm supposed to be taking or that I normally would take, but this helps build muscle strength and mass. Um, this particular brand is Body Tech, which I believe is GNC's brand, I'm pretty sure. So during the loading phase, which is the first five days that you take it, you mix one teaspoon and take it four times a day. After day one through five, starting on day six, and beyond, you just mix one teaspoon and take it once daily. So I'll be in the loading phase since I haven't been taking this, I'm gonna get back on it and start the loading phase and I'll be taking this once four times a day. And then just once a day after that. So I think that's pretty much all the supplements that I take during my bulking phase and just on a normal basis. Let me just make sure I covered everything. Right, so my protein, I consume between meals and immediately following my workout. Um, if I had carbolin, I would add that to my protein shake for my post-workout. For my pre-workout, I like um, amino energy, that's my go-to. 
the vitamin C, I take about 2000 milligrams a day. It's a great immune booster. It helps enhance health promoting effects of exercise and reduce exercise induced oxidative damage. So that's why I like to take it before my fasted cardio. I just help feel like it helps with circulation and breathing and everything like that. It's just good for you. Just take it. It's vitamin C, immune booster which I should have been taking, but like I said, I was slacking off, I got sick, I should have been taking it even more then, but I kind of had all my supplements in this room because I've been planning to do my supplement video for a while now, so it was kind of out of sight, out of mind. Quick rundown, vitamin C, one tablet first thing in the morning, and then three more with a meal, amino energy for my fasted cardio workout, and then again for my strength training workout later. BCAAs, I drink all throughout the day. A Pedamin before my meals, kind of 20 minutes before my meals. My multivitamin, my CLAs, helps with fat loss, lean muscle mass, increased metabolism and appetite control which I don't really need, so I have the Pedamin to offset that. You got your fish oils, your glucosamine for your bone health and joints, and your creatine for building mass, muscle, and strength.